Hi, my name is Mark Shippen Mueller. I'm the product manager for cameras and lenses at ARI, and I will be introducing you to some of the new lenses we're selling. I'm going to start with the ARI Fujinon zooms. There are two zooms. There's an 18 to 80 millimeter, which we have here, and then there's a 45 to 250 millimeter, or say your standard wide and long zooms. Both lenses are T2.6, they have almost no zoom ramping and an amazing optical quality, high contrast and high resolution. Now another wonderful thing about those lenses is the price. The 18 to 80 runs for 25,000 US dollars and the 45 to 250 runs 32,000 US dollars. We have a new lens that we co-developed with Zeiss and that is the Ari Zeiss Master Prime 12mm. Now the 12mm is an extreme wide angle lens with master prime optical quality and T1.3, so that is a very, very super fast lens. Zeiss is really, really good at making wide angle lenses. Anybody can make a lens set from 16 to 100 millimeters, but going wider than 16 is very, very tricky. In the ultra primes, we have a 14, a 12, a 10, and the very amazing ultra prime 8R. And in the master primes, we also have a 16, a 14, and but this NAB here, we're introducing the 12 millimeter. And the unique thing about the lens is the really, really large aspherical front element that allows us to make this lens with that optical quality at T1.3. Ari and Zeiss have been building prime lenses for decades now, and at this show we're announcing new zoom lenses we've co-developed with Fujinon. Today, Ari and Zeiss and Fujinon are announcing a strategic partnership that will allow us to build better products in the future by combining what we can in terms of the lenses and the cameras. While there has been a lot of interest in the Alexa, we shouldn't forget that the D21 is also a camera that has some very unique capabilities. It's the only camera in the world that has a 4x3 sensor, and it's the only digital production camera in the world that has an optical viewfinder. We still support the D21, and at this NAB we announced an upgrade to the D21. With the upgrade, the D21 will support 60 frames per second in 444, and in fact, we have an OB-1 right now on this D21 that already can record 60 frames a second in 444. In addition, the D21 will have an HDSDI flag. That's a special start-stop flag that can automatically start an external onboard recorder through the HDSDI signal. The camera control panel on the D21 is different now. Just like the Alexa, it has a red record button and unlike the Alexa, it has a new shutter button that allows the customer to turn the mirror shutter on and off. We can now turn the mirror shutter completely off on the D21 and use, use just an electronic shutter, and that we can set to a shutter angle larger than 180 degrees, all the way up to 270 degrees, that gives us a half stop more exposure. So for the Airy Cam and the Airyflex 235, we have two perforation movements available for sale now. This here is an Airy Cam Lite, that has a two perforation movement already installed. And with two perforation, you can save half the film stock costs, half the processing costs, and of course, each, course, each magazine will last twice as long.